Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining the draw event and how you use it and why you would want to take manual drawing controls away from Game Maker. What we're going to do is a very simple thing like this. I'm going to show you how to do just a little bit of GUI, which is graphical user interface, and then how to take manual control over your drawing to be able to place images places that you don't actually have objects at. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I have a sprite here that is a red tree already, and I will upload this project in this state for you, and you can download it and follow along, or just use your own sprites. What we're going to start with is an object. We're going to create it called obj main menu, and this one is going to display that hello world. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go into draw GUI, and the GUI is graphical user interface. Anytime that you are going to be putting something on the screen for the player to touch, interact with, to use with like the mouse or the keyboard or a touch screen or something, this is what you're going to want to be using. So here we're going to do called draw. And if we type out draw, you can see here that all of a sudden we have dozens of functions to choose from. There are lots of different things you can do and very detailed uh, options for you. What we're going to do though is very simple, is just draw text. So we're going to put this at 100 and 100, which is the X and Y coordinates, and we're going to draw the string, hello world. And now inside of our room, we'll place this, and it doesn't matter where we place this object because it doesn't have a sprite associated with it. It is just drawing text for us, so it can be anywhere because we are telling it where to draw the text. So now that appears, which is awesome. But again, one of the functions that you can use here is drawing a line. Now when you're drawing a line, you have to have four arguments, and it's x1, y1, x2, and y2. And the way that works is that you say the first dot, like the left of the line begins here, and the right of the line ends here. And I played around with this a little bit, so if you copy in 100, 125, 205, and 125, you'll see that the line is right underneath hello world. And so that gives you a little bit of freedom and flexibility and you can move that around as much as you like. To change up colors and stuff, uh, font, all of that, you use a function called draw, set, and then here you can set all of this. So you can set alpha, you can set color, you can set font, alignment, lighting, all of those things are through draw, set. So we're gonna do draw, set, color, We'll change this to C red. Now the thing to note is that when you set a color for everything drawn after that, it is going to be drawn in that color. So both the text and the line are gonna show up as red. And sometimes that's not what you want. So you need to set the specific color and font and everything right before you draw it. So for here, if we set it again, we can set this one to C blue and then the line will be blue while the text is red. And if you're wondering where I'm getting these values, we can middle click on this, and you can see here that GameMaker has a list of constants, colors that they have, or you can also um, use hexadecimal value like this. So you can use any color under the sun that you can think of, and you can also blend them yourself. So if you want a very specific color, you can do that. So that is the basics of drawing the GUI. Now let me show you drawing, ob uh, drawing sprites with an object. So we're gonna do obj tree, and it's important here that this is marked as visible. So we're gonna select the tree, we're going to add it to our room, just right there. Now I'll run this and you'll see that it's visible, it has a sprite, and it is going to appear as normal, which is exactly what we want. But if we were to come in here and go to the add event and draw, the moment that you add a draw event to an object, GameMaker says, okay, you want control over this, I'm giving you full control. So it is no longer going to draw anything associated with that object. The way you fix that is by doing draw self. By adding in this function, the sprite will now be drawn where the object is. And you just need that one first. Just be careful because if you use draw self and you do not have a sprite associated with this, you will get an error right away. Okay, you can't draw self if there's nothing to draw. Now, if we wanted to do this, let's go ahead and 
comment that out. What I want to do is just show you how to draw this tree uh, without having the tree associated with it. So if we do draw sprite, and you can see here that there are a lot of different options. You can draw a sprite uh, extended, general, which just gives you a bunch of control. You can scale it, you can blend it, you can make it transparent. We're gonna stay simple and just use draw sprite. And down here, it tells us the arguments that we need. We need the sprite. So we're gonna do SPR, red tree, sub image of zero. And we're gonna put this at 300 and 300. And now it will draw the tree, even though the tree isn't associated with that object anymore. We get to control where it's drawn and how it is drawn, which opens up a lot of options for you as the developer, because if you have one tree that is like a normal color and you wanted to do, uh, you wanted to put a lot of trees in your map, like you had a forest or something, but you didn't want to have to alter every single one, what you can do is just procedurally draw them and change them up a little at a time. So you can rotate them a little bit, you could flip one, you can just randomly choose uh, different shades of green so that every tree looks a little bit different and you wouldn't have to place all of those objects in there. So that's the basics of drawing. If you want to see more functions covered, if you want to learn anything else about drawing, please leave a comment below. Hit me up on Twitter. I am always glad to take suggestions and help you out if there's anything more you'd like to know. But that's all I've got for you today. So as always, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later. Hey there. Uh, I've got a Patreon, if you didn't know. If you'd like to support me, that would be great. Up on the screen are the people who are pledging enough to get their name in the credits. They are helping fund this YouTube channel, which is awesome. I just want to give a shout out to them and all that they do to help me do this. It's great. If you would like to join, uh, you can click on the link at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you. Thank you.